Hello and welcome to uh, this video tutorial on importing survey information using GPS coordinates into the Revit environment. Um, going to open AutoCAD and in front of us we can see a survey that's been carried out by a team of surveyors using GPS equipment. The GPS equipment itself produces extremely large coordinates and if we were to start using this coordinate information within the Revit environment uh, we would end up with some serious problems with our geometry as we are not able to model or it's unadvisable to model anything within the Revit environment 20 miles away from the origin. So we need to overcome that. Now I know that this particular site and the coordinates that reside within it are 20 miles away from the AutoCAD origin. So let's just take a look at that quickly. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to just draw a line and um, I'm going to show you where the origin is in relation to this particular site so you can see how far away it actually resides from the AutoCAD origin. So I'm going to go to line and I'm going to type 0, 0 and press enter and I'm going to finish the line at this corner here just for ease of use, press escape and then zoom to fit. Now there's the AutoCAD origin there's the site, and that's an enormous distance. So, it's no good to us. We need to think of a way and a workflow of bringing this information into Revit so that we can generate GPS coordinates for our drawings based on the information within the AutoCAD file and still maintain the relationship to the origin that's acceptable within the 20 mile threshold. So I'm going to delete this line and I'm going to zoom to fit. Before we get going in the Revit environment, I just want to take you through a few things that are going on within this site uh, drawing. So I'm going to zoom in, and what we should notice is that we have some spot elevations, some contour elevations, and the highest point in this file is 37 meters. And we also have two building outlines, one building here and another building here. So we're going to draw an outline of our walls here first of all and then I'm going to show you a workflow of moving all of your geometry over to here if you if you choose to. Uh, it could be a design change for instance and that's again something we'll look at in the video but it's going to be after we examine the workflow to get this AutoCAD site GPS file into Revit and get to the coordinates set up so they're correct and acquiring the coordinates from this particular CAD file. So without further ado let's just take a quick look at the 3D um, information in this AutoCAD file because we can utilize 3D information in this file um, to generate topo surfaces. So the surveyors generated the 3D contours for us. Um, so we can use these 3D contours from this particular file to generate a topo surface later on, but that will be in future videos. Uh, but just bear it in mind that you are able to do that. And indeed, if they are using GPS equipment, it will um, generate uh, X, Y, and Z coordinates for you in a comma separated variable file. So again, you can use that and it saves you having to use uh, the, the 3D contours, you can just say to Revit um, import the points from the CSV file and it will generate the topo surface for you. So one of the questions you want to ask your surveyors is can I have the points file please? Um, and they should be able to give that to you without any problems because they would have had it themselves and it will probably save them a bit of work as well. Anyway, um, let's have a look at another thing that's going on in this um, DWG. Let's go zoom to fit and go to our top view. There we go. Now, you will notice that the site itself sits within a square, okay? And this is important because when we bring this into Revit, we're not going to align it origin to origin because it will cause us problems because of the distance it will be away from the Revit origin. So we're going to align it auto center to center. Now, once you have your site file set up like this, so your site resides within a square, yeah? Do not draw anything outside this square. And in fact, if you are going to bring any drawings into the Revit environment, they need to have the same bounding extents. Okay? If they don't have the same bounding extents, they will not come in auto center to center. That's just something to make sure. So you're always drawing within this area, within AutoCAD, to make sure that it aligns with the Revit environment. Okay? So let's go ahead and start bringing this information into the Revit environment. So I'm going to maximize Revit. I'm going to start a new project using the architectural template. Now I'm going to go over to my site plan and from my site plan we're going to take a quick look at the project base point and the survey point which just happen to be located at Revit's internal origin of 000. 
Okay, neither of these objects or elements, should I say, are the Revit internal origin. They are just sitting at it at this moment in time, and I'm going to prove it to you. I'm going to do a crossing uh, selection or window selection, sorry, across both elements and filter them out. So here's a project base point and the survey point. I want to select the project base point first of all. And say apply. Now notice you can see we have coordinates here of zero zero zero. And when I first started using uh, Revit. I thought this was the origin also, and it's just not. Okay, it just happens to be sitting at zero zero zero, and even then, it's not even referencing the Revit origin. It's actually talking to the survey point. Now, if I select the survey point and hit apply, you can see the survey point also says zero zero zero. Yeah, but however, if I just OK that and move the survey point away from the project base point. The project base point will communicate with the survey point and then it will ask it, where am I in relation to you? So if I select the project base point, can you see the coordinate there? So these are talking to each other. So this is no longer zero, zero, zero. OK, now that's great. That's going to help us an awful lot. OK, so there is our Revit origin underneath the project base point. OK, now notice the survey point itself has zero, zero, zero on it because that's actually our zero 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 that we can move about in the Revit environment yeah to make sure this has the right number now let me just move this back to the project base point and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in my CAD information so link CAD 2d and 3d site information with the large offset preserve the colors because what will happen if there's anything white in there it will convert it to black but the rest of the colors will be maintained sometimes yellow can be a bit um, hard on the eye with the white background you know so by all means if you want to change it to black and white you can do you know but hey ho I'm going to preserve it I'm going to bring all the layers and levels leave the unit stores text now I've turned off correct lines that are slightly off axis and my Revit is set up so that is always off okay but by default that will be on so make sure you tick that off and change your positioning if it has been uh, modified to auto center to center okay it needs to be on auto center to center leave everything else as it is and then say open and it brings in the the CAD file. Now let's just zoom out, okay? Pan over slightly, and there you can see it's come in center to center. So the center of this uh, square is the center of the project environment, okay? Now let's go into my 3D view just to make sure the contours have come in. So there we go, you can pan and orbit around. You can see the 3D contours. They're also for later use when we're generating our topo surfaces. Okay, back to the site view. First thing to look at um, is orientation of Project North and True North. Uh, because at the moment, True North is as it is, North. And Project North is at 45 degrees to True North. When I mean Project North, I mean the orientation of the building relative to True North. So we may want a situation where we can uh, draw at 90 degrees or parallel to um, True North. So we need to reorientate the uh, the file slightly or the CAD um, drawing. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's select, rotate, choose 90 degrees, rotate round 45 to the right, and reorientate the uh, drawing. Now you will notice that the project or the building itself is now straight, but the true north has been lost. We can get that back. We can acquire True North and indeed all the GPS information from the AutoCAD file. Uh, but before we do that, let's just take a look at the orientation of the view. It's set to Project North. If I change um, True North and then move my mouse into the viewport, nothing changes because there's no difference between the two. Okay, it hasn't been defined yet. So I'm going to leave that on Project North. I'm going to then acquire my coordinates from the the uh, linked CAD file that we brought in. So two things are going to happen. It will give us our True North. So when we change this setting here to True North, this will rotate back to True North. And also the survey point you'll notice will, will shoot right down to the bottom left hand corner of the screen. And it's basically finding the origin of that particular CAD file. So then all the information um, around here is correct to GPS. So let's go to the Manage tab, choose Coordinates, Acquire Coordinates, and then choose the linked CAD file. And it looks like nothing has happened until you go over to the orientation and change it to True North. And then suddenly... Ta -da, we have True North and Project North. Okay. Now, I did say to you that something else happened. Let's change this back to True North. And then let's do a quick zoom out. So zoom to fit. And there you can see the 
uh, survey point, which is residing exactly the same point as the autocad origins, which is why we, the project base point will read the correct coordinates because it's talking to the survey point and it's asking the survey point, how far away are you? So, what's my relationship to you in coordinates? And then it will read the correct coordinates. So, what I'm going to do just for the moment is select the survey point, right mouse click, and then hide in view elements. Now, with this workflow, it is imperative that you do not move that survey point once it's been positioned and lined up and coordinated with the initial GPS survey because all of your survey information will then be wrong. So, that is just something to keep into consideration.